My name is Mark Payne. I was named as the Olympics Photographer of the Year last year at the London 2012 Games. Twice been Sports Photographer of the Year as well. And I get sent all over the world to interview athletes and sporting stars. My most well-known image is of me being hit by Tiger Woods' ball in the Ryder Cup. We're in London at the O'Neill Shoreditch Showdown, which is a, a snowboarding event bang in the middle of London. Urban landscape with a temporary snow structure here. And we've got some of the world's best snowboarders coming along here. Based in Britain, I don't shoot lots of winter sports, but what it's really good for uh, is taking your mind back to the basics and photographically remembering all the techniques you have to put in place. I'm going to show how any photographer can get professional looking shots by choosing the right lens and by putting into action some top tips to shoot great sport. The most important thing is to take a step back and have a look at exactly what the athletes are doing. See the shapes they're making, see their takeoff points, their landing points and decide exactly what is the moment you want to capture with your camera. We need to find a spot which really, really gives our pictures the most impact. The composition is crucial because it can make a good picture even better just by getting that composition right. We're using high shutter speeds because you know these guys are going to be going fast down the slope. Fast shutter speeds tend to lead to high ISOs. There's absolutely no problem turning up the ISO. Today we want flexibility because we've got snowboarders going from top of the slope to the bottom of the slope. So we want a telephoto zoom. It's really important to get the viewer right amongst the action. A great lens to use a 70 to 300, great variety. You can go extreme, you can go 18 to 300 if you like, which obviously gives you a wide angle because then we can track the athletes all the way from the top to the bottom, hopefully on continuous motor drive and getting lots of in-focus pictures. It's important to think about landscapes with sports photography because most people assume fast telephoto lenses freeze the action close up, but you need to put the viewer in the environment as well to show him or her where you are. Choose something lovely like a 10 to 24 or a 12 to 24. Here we're using a, a fisheye lens. It's a lovely picture here with the bus. Very much a London picture. Setting the scene. The main problem obviously is lack of light. So we need to choose a faster lens, a prime lens. Change to a, a 35 or a 50. Uh, it's quite dark now, so we can shoot them wide open, get some real quality here, shoot them at 1.8. To get a great sports portrait, what do you got to do? Always about the eyes, and the great lens to do it is a 35mm or a 50mm lens. If you can shoot it wide open from 1.8 apertures, you can completely throw away your background in your portrait, concentrating solely on your subject. 